Headed into week six of the season, your fighting Illini are currently 4-0 at number 22 in the nation. That puts us right behind Wisconsin in the Big Ten Leaders Division. They are 1-0 in conference play so far. As, like I said earlier, we're number 22 in the nation. And we are getting ready for our first Big Ten matchup of the season as we are going up against the Northwestern Wildcats here in Evanston. Second and eight, first pass play of the game for Robinson. Back to throw, and that's almost intercepted. Not off to the start we want, so third and eight now. Robinson moving in the pocket, lofting one to the left side. That's gonna be completed for a first down. Second and 10 now, keeping this drive alive. Back to throw, looking across the middle to the end zone. That's gonna be just short. First and goal to go. Play action, rolling out to the left. Robinson dumps it off to his fullback and he fights his way in. As Northwestern would go down and tie it up at seven apiece. Back to throw now across the seam to the tight end. That's going to be completed and he's going to slip a few tackles there. That would set up first and 10 now. Play action from the shotgun. Back to throw looking for the wheel route. It's not there but we're going to complete it on the corner instead. As that would put us up 14 to 7 now. Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. Taking a shot deep down the left side, somehow completes that into double coverage. As we move to the second quarter now, third and eight, Robinson standing tall in the pocket across the middle. Another dart for another Illini touchdown. 21 to seven, looking to tack on another possible scoring opportunity here before the half ends. We're taking a deep throw down the left side. That's going to be completed and taken to the house for a touchdown. As Matt Brown would set a new record single season touchdown receptions on that one as the new record would be set at 10. Speaking of 10, it's first and 10. Rolling out to the left on the run and that's going to be completed for another touchdown. As that would seal the deal here in Evanston, we're going to walk away with a victory over the Wildcats to open up Big Ten Conference play here, 42-7. to Very dominant play by the Illini in their last game. They're looking to keep it rolling and keep improving in Big Ten Conference play as we get ready for our next game here. As it is going to be against the Purdue Boilermakers, first and 10, first drive for the Illini rolling out. That's going to be completed on the run. We would go down with an injury and we're going to be out almost the entire first quarter now as we would come back in with 350 to go here in the second quarter down by three. Chicago looking to take his team down back from injury and score to take the lead. Second and five, he's going to stop up, take it himself as he smartly slides forward on that play to avoid a hit first and 10 now. It's tied up as we got a field goal on that possession. Another deep pass here is going to be completed from Chicago. That would set up now first and 10 looking towards the end zone. That's going to be completed for a touchdown to his tight end we take the lead back looking to score again here before halftime under 20 seconds to go it's our tight end again down to the five yard line first and goal eight seconds and counting Robinson to the end zone that's another touchdown as we tack on some more points we head to the second half near the end of the third quarter now up by 11 Across the middle on first and 10. That's going to be a fresh set of downs. And fourth quarter action now. Third and five. That's going to be tipped up and knocked incomplete. So we would settle for a field goal, making it 27 to 13. Robinson across the middle. Tight throw. He completes it into double coverage for a touchdown. As that would put a wrap on this one. We're going to prove to 2-0 on conference play here as we take this one over the Boilermakers. 34-13. to That would bring us back home to Champaign for a second week in a row to continue Big Ten play. As we would be taking on Minnesota, we've now moved up to number 11 in the nation. Looking to stay undefeated. Third and nine setting up the halfback screen. That's going to be completed, but it's going to be short. Short. Third and eight. Minnesota went down, scored on their opening drive. We're looking to do the same here on our second one. After that completion, that would bring up third and four. Robinson back to throw. He's going to escape out of the pocket, slide forward, and pick up the first down. Third and seven, looking to convert again, dropping back to throw to the right side. That's going to be completed to his tight end, and he would find his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Second quarter action, third and eight, looking to convert yet again. It's not going to happen this time as we go down with a sack. Third and eight again, this time a little closer to the end zone. That's not going to be knocked. That's going to be intercepted by the Minnesota defense. Another chance, though, here as we're trying to go up with less than a minute to go in the first half, and Chicago will take that in on his feet, no problem. Third quarter action now, 14-7. to 7. 
Tough day for both offenses as that's going to be completed on the slant route for a first down. And that would bring up a fresh set of downs. Robinson back to throw. Stepping up out of the pocket. He's going to take it himself. Fighting forward just short of the end zone. And we would end up scoring another touchdown on that drive as we move to the fourth quarter. Second and three. Rolling out. Moving around all ways about. Finally finds his tight end open down the left side. As that would wrap this one up here in Champaign as the Illini are going to walk away with another Big Ten victory off the 3-0 in conference play with a 24-7 victory over the Golden Gophers. As that will bring us to our final matchup for this episode at home yet again. That brings up a third and one now for Illinois as we're trailing Indiana 7-0 across the middle. That's going to be completed to our tight end. Fresh set of downs near in the end zone here. Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up. Take it himself. He has a block, and he's going to find his way into the end zone on the ground. Indiana's offense is keeping us on our toes on second and three. Quick rollout to the right. That's completed to our tight end. I would bring up second and inches now inside the five-yard line. Robinson back to throw, and he's going to find his receiver in the end zone for a touchdown. As we are still trailing Indiana, they go down, tack on a field goal as we're looking to score here. Trying to take the lead as we move to the fourth quarter, second and four. Play action rolling out to the left on the run. That's going to be completed to Chicago's tight end down to the 30-yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Illini. Back to throw. Looking to the right, that's going to be completed inside the 10 into the end zone for a touchdown. As Indiana goes down yet again and takes the lead. 24-21, we just cannot get a stop on the run. That's going to be completed to our tight end. Second and three now, play action. Robinson back to throw, looking to the end zone. He has his receiver wide open for a touchdown. We take the lead back again. As that would do it, our defense would finally get a stop. And we are going to hold on to this one and walk away with a victory over Indiana, 28-24. to So, through eight games in the season, we are still in second place in the Big Ten Leaders Division, behind Wisconsin, who we're going to play next episode. And that brings us all the way up to number three in the nation. So, we are going to have a three versus number one matchup here in the next episode when we take on... Wisconsin. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll see if we can continue this undefeated season and find our way into the Big Ten Championship. I'll see you guys in the next one.